earlier this year at the Consumer Electronics Show to great reviews. The idea is to let you see and feel what it would be like to take a flight from your neighborhood to your critical destination in a Bel Air taxi, avoiding traffic and doing so conveniently, easily, affordably, and in a very automated way. When you see it, you will see a four passenger seat environment with a focus on a user first experience oriented design working from the passenger out and specifically targeted towards an urban mobility air taxi solution. The customer focus is a critical element of making this not only a success, but making it magical, as Nikhil mentioned earlier today. We would like then uh, to show to you our first concept. Uh, it's four passengers, one pilot to start with in the future, right, probably, uh, autonomous. Uh, this is our, our first, uh, as I said, concept, and from now on, so we, uh, we will move on right from here, and of course, we will develop uh, other, other initiatives, other right assessments. This is a configuration that we showed last year of a quarter scale, what, a, what something might look like. But again, the point is not so much what the airplane looks like, it's what the certifiable autonomy system that sits underneath it looks like that will enable all of, of uh, tomorrow's aircraft. This is another view of, of, uh, of that uh, system, that, that configuration that we showed uh, a year ago. This is uh, another possible configuration that, that, uh, that, these things, uh, that these things might take. This is another configuration that, uh, that they might take. So this vehicle is different. I would like to highlight three core elements of our design philosophy that's built into our vision of the eVTO that's shown here. First of all, it's optimized for speed and going the distance. It is an aeroplane that can lift off vertically, land vertically, but it is screamingly fast. And it is optimized to be very efficient at high speed, bringing you faster, and more conveniently, also feeling less turbulence than what you may expect from other eVTOS designs that have been unveiled so far. This is the vehicle shown in cruise configuration, so the magic bits that make it lift and land vertically are hidden. Sorry for that. Second point, the vehicle is designed for rider's experience. Not only that, also for the experience of people that will be spending time near to this vehicle, below it. It's quiet, the entry and, and exit of the cockpit is streamlined, and every seat is a window seat with Pipistrel EVTOS. How cool is that? It's very, very different than uh, the larger tilt rotors that we're developing uh, for the Army and elsewhere in the government. Um, uh, the electric drive vastly simplifies uh, lots of aspects of the implementation. But the basic rotor physics is the same, and the ingredients that make a rotor, a large diameter variable speed rotor, able to operate successfully is the same as, uh, as what we've been developing uh, all these years. So we're really excited uh, because we think there's actually a, a really perfect overlay between uh, the unique demands of eVTOL uh, uh, urban air mobility and where the strengths of optimum speed tilt.